Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Daily Dish. I'm cooking macaroni pie today, also known as mac and cheese. So this was a requested video. I like to start by making a roux. As you guys know, a roux is just butter and flour. So I melt my butter in a pot first and then I add my flour and I use a whisk and you got to put a little bit of wrist action in that. That's how you get a nice smooth roux. Um, to make sure it's not lumpy. Once I have the roux complete, I turn the roux into a bechamel sauce. As you guys know, it is a cream sauce, which is butter flour and whole milk or cream. So I just add my milk to that. Now, if you find that you're actually getting a lumpy bechamel, one thing that I learned that helps is if your milk is room temperature. So don't take it directly out the fridge like you can just take it out while you're prepping your ingredients and um, if you add like room temperature milk and just make sure you're whipping it consistently you'll get a really nice smooth cream sauce and you could actually stop there I mean not for mac and cheese but for other recipes you know it's like a staple in a lot of French dishes Now I have this beautiful bechamel and from there I'm gonna turn that into a cheese sauce and of course a cheese sauce is just by adding cheese. You can add whatever cheese you like. Um, I'm adding mozzarella, sharp cheddar, and ricotta. Ricotta just makes it really nice and smooth. And here we have it, a beautiful cheese sauce. Now, this is where I like to season my cheese sauce, and this is where your personal taste and, you know, background and whatever comes into play. These are just the seasonings I use. But of course, this is not like a make or break type thing. Um, so I like to season with garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, paprika, and green seasoning. My cheese sauce is perfect, just the way I like it. And now I'm going to add my pasta. Now, you guys, just close your eyes and imagine I'm adding macaroni elbows, obviously, Macaroni pie slash mac and cheese calls for macaroni elbows, but you guys know how I am. I hate wasting food and I boiled way too much penne for my big ziti. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this up to prevent waste, but just imagine. You, let's use our imaginations and pretend it's macaroni elbows because <laughs> I know somebody going to say something in the comments. So I'm going to mix that up when it sounds like, you know what? It's perfect, girl. <laughs> We're going to pour that into a baking dish. I'm going to top it with my leftover shredded cheese as well as grated Parmesan. I love grated Parmesan on top of any baked pasta, to be honest. And then, um, and then I just pop it into the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes or so. Just monitor it until it looks exactly how you want it. And that's it, guys. That is my macaroni pie slash mac and cheese recipe that's how i make it and i really love it so hope you do as well thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video peace